I'm a living art doll. When I'm in a full doll look, it feels really good. I really feel like myself. My name's Toshi Salvino. I'm 24 years old and I live in Brooklyn, New York. And I am a living art doll. Oh, and this is Sterling. <laughs> He's actually a doll. Dolls are everything in Toshi's life. So much so that for the past six years, she's gradually been turning herself into one. I think my look is really it's about self-expression and I like being a doll because that means I can be whatever I want that day. I'm pretty much using my body as the canvas to express how I'm feeling. This is the hardest part of my day, is eyeliner. I'm drinking so much coffee, <laughs> my hands are shaking. So when I'm doing a full look, I like to plan out three hours um, for outfit and hair and makeup and everything. So I wear this type of makeup probably five or six days a week. I definitely have a standard, which is kind of, kind of what I'm doing today, which is like blue and pink shadow. And I'm gonna do some freckles and the big eyes. Um, I really like that, because that I feel like is just how my face looks in my head. As a child, Toshi found her kindred spirits in Japanese fashion magazines. I remember I was like nine years old or something and I found Fruits magazine. And then I was like, oh my God, like there are people that dress like me. So like seeing that as a kid, like really made me be like, it's okay, keep doing what you're doing. There's someone else out there who gets it. And so ever since then, like Japan and Harajuku fashion has been super important to me. Toshi has recently taken her transformation to become a living art doll even further. My tattoos, um, I've wanted them for a really long time and they're um, aesthetically, they're uh, the doll joints on the knees with screw hinges, um, which is really meaningful to me. Obviously my whole like living doll style is appropriate, but also um, I have Lyme's disease, which is kind of like having arthritis in your entire body. And the thing that affects me the most and is the most painful and probably the most hindering besides my hands is my knees. So I feel like the screw through the knee <laughs> is an accurate representation of how it feels sometimes. So after getting the tattoos, I feel like even with no makeup, I can still carry on my doll persona regardless. Whereas in the past, I wouldn't really feel like myself without having makeup on. Hi. <laughs> Where I'm from in Pennsylvania, in the middle of nowhere, like, you know, it was always tone it down, tone it down. Why are you doing that? Why are you dressed that way? But it's so normal to look alternative in New York. So. That's honestly one of my favorite things. Yeah, they respect it, which is really a nice feeling. <laughs> she is fantasy. She's what we want to see in the world. It's all so dreary. So when you meet someone like her, you want to hold her. You want to hold on because she's just a light. And it's wonderful to have that in our lives. Yeah, especially so. in New York where everybody's like, I mean, look at me. I'm like, everywhere is all black <laughs> all the time. all black. <laughs> Literally me. <laughs> so to see something like that is like so exciting. <laughs> so what I like most about looking otherworldly, um, that's how I feel. I like to kind of bring other people into my like imaginary world with me and I'm glad that I can do that through putting stuff on my face. I am a hairstylist in real life, as I like to say. I wanted to go to art school, but that wasn't in the cards. So I went to cosmetology school and it's been like the best decision ever. Like, our clients are all awesome, interesting people in their own right too. The vibe of the salon 
is why she, you know, came to us because it's just full of art, beauty, glitter, you know, and lots of hair color and toys. So, so it suited her. She could be herself here, you know, and we just let her do her thing. I absolutely love being a hairstylist because, like, if I didn't become a hairstylist, um, I would just be some weird hermit recluse artist, like painting alone with cats or something. Nothing wrong with that, but I like to make the colorful magic happen. If a little kid sees me and they think I'm a fairy and they think fairies are real, then that makes me so happy. Yeah, I just kind of want to prove like you can do whatever you want and be confident. I was amazed at the, at the coloring and, and the actual artwork in her hair and everything. It, it's, it's just beautiful. But just the way she looks and the way she carries herself, right away you just put a smile on your face. It makes the day beautiful. How would I define my look? I would like to say that I'm a mix up of whimsical fairy tale Harajuku fashion that stemmed from goth and is running into neon lights, leaving a trail of glitter, because I do that <laughs> in real life.